In this video, we'll be showing you how to assemble and operate your bubble pockets. First, we'll need to determine which drain valve you have. A pro drainage kit that screws into a drilled hole, or the barbed inline valve that pushes into the rubber grommet. Also included in your kit, you will receive six net pots, one bag of hydrogen clay pellets, six Rockwell seedling cubes, one air pump, quarter inch airline tube, an air stone, water pump, and an assembled dig manifold. To install the Pro Drainage Kit, you'll need to unscrew the bolt, fit it into the hole at the bottom, and screw on the other side. Be sure to hold the valve firmly and screw tightly to prevent any leaks. To install the inline drain valve, you'll want to dip the back end into some warm water and with a firm twisting motion push it into the rubber grommet. Make sure not to push the grommet all the way through. First, remove your air pump from its packaging. Attach one end of the quarter inch air line to the small metal outlet near the pump. Insert the other end of the air line through a small drill hole near the top of the reservoir. Once through, attach the line to your air stone and lay it in the bottom of your reservoir. Remove the water pump from its box. Once open, find the bag with a half inch attachments. You want to use the shorter of the two. Attach it to the half inch tubing on the manifold. Once attached, screw onto the water pump. Place the pump and manifold into the reservoir. You want to put your net pots into the lid of the reservoir. Take each of the quarter inch irrigation tubing and place it into the bottom of the net pot. You want to do this for each of the net pots.
Now that the lid and pump is complete, you will remove it from the reservoir so you can begin filling it with water. You'll want to fill it just below where the airline goes in. Now that you have a full reservoir, you can start the pumps. Make sure the water pump is completely submerged before starting it. You also want to make sure that each valve on the manifold is open. Make sure each net pot is receiving a small but steady flow of water. You may need to adjust the placement of the tubes. Before filling the net pots, you'll want to rinse your hydroton. Make sure you rinse all of the dust off of them. Next, you will want to soak your Rockwell seedling cubes in water. Drain any excess water. Start by adding the clay pellets to your net pots. For now, you'll just want enough to cover the tubing. You'll then want to add one of your Rockwell seedling cubes. Fill in the rest with the Hydroton clay pellets. Once your net pots are full, you're ready to start growing. If you ordered our Grow Ready Kit, you will receive nutrients.
the yellow grow nutrient, pink bloom, and the white micronutrients. To start off, we won't need the bloom. Add about half the packet to a separate water container. You want to shake or stir it to make sure it dissolves. Then add it to your reservoir. Do the same for the micronutrients. Once dissolved, add it to the reservoir. After you've mixed in your nutrients, you'll want to use one of our pH testing strips. Place the strip in the water, wait for the colors to change, and compare it to the guide on the back of the box. You'll want it at around 